Dear students, our today's new topic is Gay-Lussac's law. To get a clear idea of this law, we need to look at two animations first. Container, gas particles. See, temperature is increasing and at the same time, pressure is also increasing on the gas particles. As a result, the gas particle started to move faster. That means gas particles are converted into kinetic energy. After watching this animation, it is clear that when temperature increases, pressure on the gas particle also increases. Let's watch another animation. Container gas particle. See, temperature is going down and at the same time, pressure is also decreasing on the gas particles. After watching this animation, it is clear that when temperature decreases, pressure on the gas particle is also decreases. You know, if one value increases, and at the same time the other value increases and again if one value decreases and at the same time the other value decreases then we can say that this type of relationship is a proportional relationship therefore we can write p is proportional to t here p is not equals to t if we want to bring an equal sign here, instead of this proportional sign, then we have to bring k as a constant. So we can write p equals kt, where p equals pressure, t equals temperature in Kelvin, and k is a proportionality constant. Now we can rearrange the situation P over T equals K. Now we will see the Gay-Lussac's law. Gay-Lussac's law is a gas law which states that the pressure exerted by a gas varies directly with the absolute temperature of the gas. In other words, the pressure exerted by a gas is proportional to the temperature of the gas when the mass is fixed and the volume is constant. <laughs>